Uh, final question um, for myself, Mr. PM. Last time we spoke, you said you'd give us an update. You would get back to me on the figures as to what a consulate in Dubai would cost the people of St. Kitts and give us an update as to where we were at. I think you said you were trying to procure the the building or the yes. space, yes. whatever. And so could you tell us what's going on? With yes. That? Um, the building office space has been secured. Um, contract has been signed. The figures I don't have. But I'm sure Mr. Newton in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs can give you the figures, if you ask him. But we have advanced, and so we are now waiting for the <coughs> oh, final official opening of the consulate. Any time on that, time frame on that? Um, I'm not certain. September, October, I'm not certain. That, of course, det is determined by other factors. It's very hot in Dubai at this time. Plus, a few um, weeks ago, they were into Ramadan. Nothing happened in Ramadan. And so they were waiting until all these. And then there was Eid, I think it was, another um, celebration, religious celebration period. And so I'm expecting that by September, October, things would be moving forward. Moving forward, or would it be open? Opened, that's what I mean. Will it be staffed by locals? Will yeah, yeah. it be staffed by the entire? Well, um, Ms. Woodley has already been appointed as the um, Consul General. And of course, it will need other staff. Maybe local, local meaning there. UAE would have to have some support staff, I would think. And the idea, I think, was that we'll have people from here also moving in to lend support here and there. It's been put together. I don't know the final details as yet, but it's been put together. So, hoping to get the figures maybe by the next, or said uh, Mr. Newton? Oh yes, Mr. Newton. I don't walk around with figures in my head.